Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and you can expect brutally honest tech reviews on the channel. And in today's episode I have a brutally honest app review of an app called Finder. It's a finance app allowing you to have all of your money in the one place. The Finder application is available right now. It's absolutely free on Android and iOS, so you can download it right now and start the process. And basically what you do is you tap on the app, you have an option to use your Face ID here or your password. So we'll use the Face ID and that will log me in straight away. It will start building your chart. And then you'll see that I have cash, credit cards, and loans all available straight away. So they're the connected accounts, so I can tap on them and break it down a little bit further again to kind of see what's going on, the balance, um, recent transactions. I can then also break it down in like a month by month basis. I can then also compare it. So that's where Finder will start finding something that's a bit better potentially. So then you can break it down here and you can see what's going on. You can see that Ubank, HSBC, um, so many other options, Well, Home Loans, Suncorp, all these options are available here and it's all extremely transparent. So you get to see exactly what's going on. And then from there, you can go to the site and potentially change, uh, you know, either your home loan or your insurance or, you know, even your savings account if you wanted to go to a different bank. And all of that is available very transparently here. We've got options for cash. So then we can break that down um, and where all of our expenses are going right here. So we can see we've got Medibank uh, health insurance. You can see a bit of a description there. Uh, you've got your balance again, which you can compare. So everything within the app, you can compare it uh, with all the competitors out there. So again, it's making it a lot more transparent for consumers, which is something that we all need. You know, it's kind of confusing a lot of the time. And the fact that it's all very transparent, it's here, you can see it straight away, is really refreshing actually. And then you see I've got the 13 notifications here. So it says up to $2,178 is waiting for you. So if, elig if eligible, you could save up to $2,178. So then if I click on see savings, it will then actually give me a bit of a breakdown here. And I can see the quick compare options. I can see the recent transactions again. It shows me the interest rate and my balance. And it's just really easy to navigate. So it takes out the process of you having to go and research everything for yourself. It just has it all in the one position here. You can also have subscriptions and your bills saved within the application as well. Uh, so this will break down some information here. So there's even news involved in here. You actually get some updates on what's going on in the streaming world. So if I click on view my credit score, it'll actually show me that as of the 13th of April, I'm sitting at 816. Um, so they're saying that's an excellent credit score. If I swipe across, I can then break that down uh, in a month by month kind of basis there, which again, very handy, very visual, very easy to digest, which a lot of other services are very hard to digest. It's hard to really break down and see what you're saving, what you're spending money on. Um, and this just kind of takes out that process. It takes out uh, the, the pain, I guess, the pain threshold of trying to deal with finances. So I find that really interesting. We can then break that down um, and compare it to you know, credit cards, home loans, personal loans, or car loans. Again, it's all in the application, it's all connected. But then if I click on bills as well, we can then break that down even more and see where my money is actually going. So you can see I've got Medibank, car insurance, um, FHI test, and then there's transport options, utility, telephone and internet. So it's all, again, in the one place. You don't have to go to one, uh, you know, one, kind of service and go to their website, log into their portal and check out their information and then go to your bank account and then see that information. It's all in the one spot. You just connect them all and it's all in the one spot, which is again, refreshing. I know I keep saying that, but everything's here in the one spot. You don't have to go through different portals constantly. And then we have this savings tab here. So this actually allows you to see what's available and see what options there are out there that potentially could yield some massive savings for you. So for example here, uh, you're, you're currently paying $120. I can click on unlock savings and then it breaks it down here. So you can see hospital plus extras, hospital only or just extras only. So we'll just go hospital only, go through and it will break it down. So we'll just skip this section here and it will start finding the best option based on what information you've given it. And then you can see all the different suppliers here that are connected with Finder. And if you just go into your products, for example, you can then just plus one, you can find a new product, connect a bank or add bill manually. 
So we'll find a new product. And then you'll see here, this is where the comprehensive list of products are available. So you've got credit options. So frequent flyer points, rewards cards, uh, no annual fee cards, balance transfers, so many options in credit. Then you've got banking. So you've got digital banks, everyday accounts, high interest savings. And then you go down to wealth and you've got sharing trading, uh, you've got crypto even available on here. You've got gold investing, peer-to-peer -peer investing, a lot. There's a lot more in there that I didn't list. There's also insurance options, so car insurance, home insurance, home and contents, income protection, pet insurance. Everything you can think of is here. Then you've got utilities, which are broken down into electricity, gas, energy. You've got shopping options, and then you've also got travel options. And if you go to your dashboard, like where you're, where you're launched, you can also see your cash position. So this basically, as it breaks down here, your cash, cash position is calculated with the following formula. So available cash minus credit card debt. So for example, if you had $100 in the bank, but $50 balance on your credit card, your cash position would be $50. So that breaks it down as the first thing you see in the cash position. You've then got these notifications, like I was saying, you can just swipe through them, see what's available. So there's something like working from home, what you can claim on tax. You click on get claiming, and boom, redirects you straight away. Working from home, what can I claim on tax? Even just to have this application as something to educate yourself on what's out there is really useful. You know, even if you just put like a few accounts on here, if you just have your, you know, your home loan and like your bank account, for example, or you have your insurance and your savings account, and then you just use this as information. Another thing I found really great was that it actually gives you insights into your finances. So you can see what's going on in your accounts and they can recommend different things to you. You don't have to take them up on that, but they can recommend ways for you to make more savings or maybe just recommendations in general on how to manage your money a little bit better. And in turn, that will save you money and it will make it a lot easier to then navigate the application again because you've added that new stream into the app on your dashboard, ready to go. You don't have to deal again with anything else. It's just all in the one spot. When you're using a standalone application, like for example, if we're using ANZ, and that's the bank that I'm using at the moment, then they're not going to be promoting other banks. They're not gonna be telling you what's out there. Of course they're not, because you're their customer. So this application kind of takes away a lot of that exclusivity. It takes away that, um, that kind of tunnel vision where you're only connected to what you're connected to. This opens up opportunities for a more competitive space, which in turn will hopefully make it better for the consumer because there'll be more savings available, there'll be more transparency for consumers, and it'll just be a lot easier for people to navigate and find the best savings available. Even though there's so much in the application and there's so much for you to look through, they've made it very easy to navigate. It doesn't feel too overwhelming. Like it's quite easy to just press the plus button and then see what's available. That I did not find hard at all. That is very easy to me. Um, and it's quite fast as well. There's um, options to share as well on the top. You can also uh, open it into the actual uh, website if you wanted to. So that opened up in Safari there. Makes it a little bit easier if you didn't want to navigate through the app. And then when I go back to the app, I have to use my face ID again. Uh, you've got the information in the top corner. So that's an option again. And there's also a chat option down the bottom as well. So you can tap on that. And then you can chat to someone from Finder directly, straight away, ready to go. Again, very easy and takes away a lot of the heartache, a lot of the headache, a lot of the pain, a lot of the awkwardness of dealing with a lot of these services. So that is a win-win, win-win-win for everyone. Really love that. Definitely check it out and let me know what you think guys in the comments below. I will have a link in the description to check out uh, the Finder app on Android and iOS. Um, but that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure to have a fantastic day and peace out.